Okay, hi. Yeah, well, this is me. I'm back inside uh, the hot rod. And you're looking at the corner of this thing. Here's a wheel well. And down here, right here, can you see that little thing there? There's a nail. <laughs> There's a little nail in there. Uh, uh, back when they made this 39, they used a lot of nails to put the upholstery in. And apparently somebody decided to poke one of them in here and hold some of the upholstery in and I never did find it and get it out. Um, so it was that. These are these things here, this thing and this thing, a couple bolts that were froze up that held in the back seat, which is the fold down seat that went like this. Uh, watching. Uh, anyway, uh, I'm going to pull back away from here. You can see what I'm looking at now. There's my seat back. And I think this is a 94 Cadillac BRITS seat back. And I hung it in there. I put in a new divider board. The stock one was kind of delaminating, so I built this thing here and lined up all the holes and stuff, got the board in there a while back. And um, let's see what else. The, I'm looking at this sheet of steel here. Um, I'm going to get way back here. You can see this sheet of steel. Uh, you can see uh, little teeny rust bits here. This has been wet a couple of times, you know, glass of water spill on it or whatever. But that's about four four years ago I put that in. And uh, that's how rusty it gets. I didn't do anything to it. I didn't paint it or, or anything. So you can still see, like here where I drew some, uh, I was going to put some indentations in there similar to the front. Here is the front. You can see some of the welding there. I think I made a video of this earlier. This is uh, also some really horrible welding again. I thought I was going to get out of making a transmission tunnel piece here and I went and had somebody else build it for me and it didn't fit and so I just welded it in anyway. Hit it with a hammer and, and it went in. It does its job. So it doesn't look all that pretty but it's in. Here is um, this platform area. Uh, it was, that's the stock thing. There's my seat belt holder. I gotta weld that in. I'm gonna weld that in today. I took the seat out so I could get back in here and uh, design the seat base. I'm gonna design the seat base instead of having this DeWalt case, this other case, to hold up my rear seat. I'm gonna actually put something in there that holds my rear seat, which is sitting over there. Uh, so that's what I'm trying to do today. So, there you go. Yeah, well, anyway, there's the, the uh, state of the interior. Nice roof area. Kind of, kind of strange body work around the rear window. Some trim missing. You can see the rubber, the rubber piece there. There's nothing really holding it in except uh, rust and whatnot. The interior piece is out. I've got it hanging up over there. Oh yeah. So that's what I'm going to get to uh, today's. Kind of. I got the seat belt mount. Ooh. There's a seat belt bolt mount. 
something when I took out this morning. And uh, this is the paint job. I ran out of black paint, so this is the paint job on my shifter base. Now I can get to my I can get to my windshield wiper stuff a little bit easier now that I don't have a seat in there. I'll be able to lay in there and get underneath there. Windshield wipers need to be adjusted slightly. So I gotta do that too. And I'm thinking about mounting this thing over here on my heater door. Okay, so that's all the stuff I'm gonna do today. See ya.